The fallout from Donald Trump's Access Hollywood tape may be blotting out the sun right now, but Hillary Clinton has troubles of her own, including nagging questions about her husband's past and a new trove of leaked emails. Take a closer look at that man's T-shirt. It's a picture of former President Bill Clinton and the word rape. Secret Service escorting him out. I do hope somebody follows that gentleman out and stages an intervention. He clearly has not been following this election very closely. It was less than 24 hours ago that Donald Trump said this about the former president. What he's done to women, there's never been anybody in the history of politics in this nation that's been so abusive to women. Trump on the attack since his own comments came back to haunt him. When you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. <laughs> Whatever you want. Grab him by the... But last night, the Republican nominee painting former President Bill Clinton as a sexual predator. If you look at uh, Bill Clinton, far worse, minor words, and his was action. At that pre-debate press conference, Kathy Shelton, who was raped by a man who Hillary Clinton was later assigned to defend as a young lawyer, Paula Jones and Kathleen Willey, have accused the former president of sexual misconduct. Clinton denied the charges from Willey and settled a sexual harassment suit with Jones for $850,000. Then there was Juanita Broderick. But Bill Clinton raped me and Hillary Clinton threatened me. I don't think there's any comparison. Bill Clinton's lawyer denied the allegation, saying in 1999, any allegation that the president assaulted Mrs. Broderick more than 20 years ago is absolutely false. In 1998, Trump criticized Clinton's accusers. I don't necessarily agree with his victims. The victims are terrible. He is uh, really a victim himself, but he put himself in that position. Allegations of sexual assault are not unfamiliar territory for the Republican candidate. During their divorce in 1991, Trump's ex-wife Ivana accused him of raping her before she withdrew them. After the debate, we found Broderick surrounded by the press. There were sexual crimes that Bill Clinton committed and that his wife enabled him to and covered up for So here we have the spectacle of a woman accusing the former president of raping her, saying it's relevant to the current election some almost 30 years later because that president's wife is now running and she says was part of a cover-up effort. What did you make of Trump bringing the women who'd accused uh, President Bill Clinton either of rape or sexual assault or inappropriate behavior? I felt sorry for those women. I thought... Sorry that, for them. Yes. I felt like they were being put on display in almost um, a sideshow sort of fashion. Like props. Like, well, but worse than props. Look, nobody was harder on Bill Clinton when he was president than I was. Uh, and these, uh, these women have awful stories to tell, but we don't know if they're true. In 1998, Broderick provided a sworn affidavit saying the rape didn't take place characterizing the rumors and stories as untrue. But the Clinton accusers weren't the only threat to the Democratic nominee last night. If I win, I am going to instruct my attorney general to get a special prosecutor to look into your situation because there has never been so many lies, so much deception. There has never been anything like it. And we're going to have a special prosecutor. Clinton's emails back in the spotlight. There has never been anything like this where emails and you get a subpoena, you get a subpoena, and after getting the subpoena, you delete 33,000 emails. Our fact check says Trump's comments mostly true. So ABC's resident political junkie and chief White House correspondent Jonathan Carl has seen it all in his 15 years covering Washington. We rated that mostly true. In fact, Hillary Clinton did, or 33,000 of her emails were deleted just a week after she received a, a subpoena from the Congressional Committee investigating Benghazi. A war of words putting Clinton on the defense about the ongoing email scandal, which has dogged her entire campaign. It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah, because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. <laughs> Trump even doubling down, posting that comment on Facebook. Have you ever, ever seen anything like this before? No. <laughs> no, no. This is every, I mean, come on. It's every week there's another thing. The notion that you would throw your opponent in jail is downright frightening. The former Secretary of State has called the handling of her emails a mistake, but not careless. That was a mistake, 
and I take responsibility for using a personal email account. You should be ashamed of yourself, what you did, and this is after getting a subpoena. It's just not true, and so please oh, you, oh, go you didn't delete to, them? I'd like to get to the questions that the people have brought here tonight to, to talk to us about. And get off this question. The whole email situation is, is ridiculous. She had, should have never done it. The Trump forces felt strongly that uh, she was not attacked on it enough in the first debate. In the past four days, Clinton's camp has had to deal with even more email dumps. On Friday, the State Department released another 273 pages of emails from when Clinton was Secretary of State. But perhaps more damaging Friday, WikiLeaks posted what appears to be more than 2,000 hacked emails from the account of Clinton's campaign chairman, John Podesta, revealing excerpts for the first time into Clinton's paid Wall Street speeches. In one 2013 speech, she told members of the National Multi-Housing Council, you need both a public and a private position in politics. These speeches have come out courtesy of, of WikiLeaks, and if they had come out during the primary, I think they could have been devastating uh, to her in her battle against Bernie Sanders. Just today, WikiLeaks released another batch of damaging emails showing the infighting within Clinton's campaign. In one message, a longtime Clinton advisor says Chelsea is acting like a spoiled brat. Another from a liberal columnist to John Podesta says that Bill Clinton's past sex life could be damaging to Hillary. What do you anticipate these next 29 plus days? I think I anticipate that which we don't anticipate. Day 28 starts in the morning. For Nightline, I'm Byron Pitts in New York.